that was a bad snap. Whatever. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys. Dead Island episode. I want to say 14. This this is probably gonna be the last episode. If not, it's definitely second to last because we we were at 92% main plot completion, and we're about to turn in another main plot quest. Hey, buddy. All right. What you got? So you want to get to block C? I can let you pass, brothers. But first, you gotta do something for me. First off, I already I did. Need more firepower for my boys, so they ain't so fucking afraid of those things. What you brought ain't gonna do. We need you to get more. Upstairs, there's an armory, but it's crawling with those walking corpses. Yeah, I can do that. Bring back as many of those weapons and all the ammo you can carry. My boys will show you the way. I'll wait here with Moe and the ladies. Don't worry now. They'd be safe with us. Unless you try and fuck me. They'd be safe with us. Go. I'm going, Moe. Jin, I'm sorry, but your ass can be infected by the zombies. I understand it probably would make sense to bring you with so you don't get, um, no node again, but. They're still humans? Does this count? <laughs> See, they say as many weapons as you can carry. I actually have, like, no carry weight available. Swung too early, making rookie mistakes. I think the cops are shooting at me, which is reasonable. Are you guys my enemy? Are you guys? He aimed his gun at me. Yeah, uh, I didn't know if they were gonna be good or bad, but like the name was Rebel. See, but the, they're like human enemies, and they weren't appearing on the uh, mini map as skulls, so I didn't really know if these were homies or not. Oh my, I feel like that should count. I'm really good at getting it on the third one. What's up, Kevin? Are you friendly? Hey, Kevin. I just wanted, I'm Kevin. Titus thought I could be of some help. I've unlocked a few doors in my day, you know? But there's nothing I can do here. This lock's tamper proof, man. And I need the master key. Only the senior guards have those. So get the master key, or you ain't getting in. Got it? How did you get past yeah, those? Hey. Rebels. All right, the senior guard should have the key. When all hell broke loose, he hid out in his office with three of his thugs. The office is down that corridor. I'll stay here and fiddle with this fucker. You said there's no way in. You know what? Maybe you'll find a way in. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I trust you, Kevin. With a name like that, there's no way you'd betray me. How did you get here? Shoot him! Oh shit. That guy was just drawing his weapon. He hit his hand on the pistol the whole time, but he didn't pull it out. Dude froze. I guess it would suck, you know, you're in a zombie apocalypse and the thing that kills you is another human. Is he on the... He's already dead, they killed him. 
I thought they said he hid with three of his guys. I guess they weren't that good of friends. Oh, wait. He got infected. I, I think that's what those bloodshot eyes are implying. Wait. My weapon buzzes too with electricity. I didn't even realize. I thought... I thought that was like an audio glitch. I like killing zombies. Is this guy moving? No? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, sorry. There's gonna be pretty much a constant slight buzz now because I'm using uh, pretty much only electrified weapons. But hey. Good. Now I'll start working on the door, and you make sure I don't get a nasty surprise. Sounds good, Kev. Eight seven eight four nine five. Card through and wait. Why that door open? The hell? Well, let me give it another shot. Damn. One more try. Holy shit! If that double door opens, we are screwed. So let's roll the dice. What double door? Fuck! Get ready. We're in for now. Watch my back. Holy shit! Kevin, I understand you're in pain, but please understand it's worse for me. Okay, Kevin, uh, I just got this bad boy. Let me let him inch forward and then I'll shoot that barrel. Three, two, one. something for me in there too. Kevin, don't backstab me. You saw what I just did to that man. Oh, now I can carry extra ammo. The strike a rifle. I just have trust issues, you know. Yeah, you're going to have to look around a little. Just take what's left. Is that it? Puny baton is <laughs> just trash. Alright. Yeah, dude, come on. Titus, you have a shop keep that has more stuff than this. I just like the challenge. When it's a winning battle. Don't you get up in front of me. In my presence. I don't even know what you mean. Okay, let me put away. Let me let me put away the high voltage weapons. Yeah, for... Thanks, dude. That's all there was. That's not gonna do it. We're gonna have to figure something else out here. Dude, talk to your shopkeeper. Looks like we're gonna be here a while. One sec. Let me sell this shitty ass shotgun. Yeah. Deadly short shotgun, more like ass, trash, garbage, poopy. Take that. Wait, does Jin have a quest? Is that what that was? Oh, I'm, ca I'm also carrying a Tonfa and a Conabo. When did I pick up all these, whatever they're called, uh, weapons, blunt weapons? Oh, it's not Jin. It's that guy. Come here. Uh. So we need some food. My boys get too hungry, they get cranky, they get mean. Things could get rough. How about you go for the kitchen and bring us back some food, huh? It's gonna kinda suck if the last the kitchen is nearby, next to the cafeteria. If the last act of this here. game I can't do it. I I can't. Jin cannot handle this. 
Please hurry. Dog, I'm going. What's up, Harlan? See that big guy over there? Yeah, he don't look right, huh? He's gonna need his medicine soon, or there's gonna be serious trouble. Trust me, I've seen him take on five gods at once. If we don't get him his Thorazine soon, those things outside will be the least of our problems. You're gonna have to go to the infirmary and get him that medicine, right? Okay, sure. Yes. Yeah. Good. Look for some Thorazine. Bring as much as you can find. What the hell is Thorazine? Or both these quests are very nearby, which is nice. What the fuck? Oh, maybe Titus will share some of that food. How do I get upstairs? Not like a yeah. There's not like a staircase in here. Map not available either. Okay, well I guess we're not doing that quest. Yeah. I just must trust you. He's letting me pass this way. Yeah, he does. We're besties. We go way back. We were in kindergarten together. Meat bait. Where are my Molotovs? Where are my Mollies at? Put that up and then, uh, I don't know, fuck it. Pull out this machete. Oh, wow. Hey, you good? I'm gonna chop off your little legs. Were we just supposed to kill them all? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna switch quests because I don't know how to get upstairs, there's no map, and the directory isn't working. You know what, once we get back, I'm gonna upgrade my actual good weapons and we'll finish out the game with our best weapons instead of our weakest. So, you know, I'd hate to go the whole game without ever using the good stuff. I thought some hard ass music was about to hit in, but it was just like a guitar riff. Picking out the crappy ones. You got loot on you? Yeah, you got two grand. Go back to Titus. I will do that. Making sure there's not like a recording or something in here. Lots of personal IDs. I don't think there would be a recording. Like, how would he get to the island? Yeah, med kits are more effective, is probably the better choice between two carry slots and that. Hey, kitchen's clear. Oh, you guys were right next to the kitchen. That seems like a horrible idea. Alright, let me... So what are our best weapons? Our best weapon is Zed's Demise. Old Smokey. Let's pretty much just get rid of these. Wait, did I just... Oh. Fuck. Give me that back. <laughs> I don't know why the order changed on me right there. Alright, let me upgrade Zed's Demise. Upgrade. Oh wow, that, that just bankrupted us. <laughs> Uh, high voltage. What are we missing for short circuit? 
short, the shotgun, striker gun, pride gun. We need wire, okay. There's three shops here, one of them has to sell wire, right? Lighter, lemon juice, glue, soap, oleander. Man, we could buy suicider meat and oleander. For that, uh, for, for those reoccurring quests back there, back on the island. Battery oh, Riders Restaurant. Where's the, where's the third shop? You need some equipment? I need wire, dude. Thank you. We have 13 large batteries. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. Apparently some military asshole. Go in. Military asshole. Is that Ryder? Uh, short circuit. Put that on the Zed's demise. Is this? No, it's not. Okay. Yeah. Let me equip him now. We'll put our best stuff on the right. We'll keep the gun up top. The gun, the gun will separate the wheat from the chaff. Okay. Is this? Oh hey! Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I actually meant to do the that for the first time ever. What does old Smokey look like? Holy shit! <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> Okay. I unfortunately now don't have a weapon that doesn't buzz. That's what I'm I guess I have my about. fists. When you're this hungry, anything tastes good, right? Pistol. Sure. There's one other place where you might find some. The guards have some rooms near Silbrook B. It's pretty well protected, okay? You know, in case of a fucking riot. You should find some weapons there. All kinds of shit. Only getting there could be a problem. They've crammed a shitload of prisoners and bee brothers. So there's a fucking army of those things in there. Tell you what, you do this for me, and we'll let you through to Block C. Okay, so Block C I'll see what I can is do. where the military Fire guy is, awesome. and that's where Ryder is, Bring so... Bring weapons and ammo back, and I'll let you through to Block C. I'll okay. get going, but watch your back. When this came down, some fuckwit opened all the cells. I'm thinking the ladies should stay here with us for their own protection. All right, let's, he let's hear what Jin has to say. Let us know when it's safe. Jin? Nothing? Okay. Dude, how do you actually get upstairs? Because I would like to do that infirmary quest, but... This is going down soon. You'll see. Dog, you're, you're talking reckless. Has Titus known that you motherfuckers left in there? Uh, you mean when I killed the guy? Wait, cell block B, infirmary. Or there's not an infirmary one. A block, B block. It's insane down there in the basement right now. Not just the walking dead, but some of those hacks might still be alive. I found the stairs to the infirmary, guys. In case you were wondering. Let's use my katana. Oh. Is it just this easy? We just gonna go in there and grab it? Cool. Some Thorazine. Personal ID. I feel like there has to be one more recording, you know? Cause like, we were on recording 9, there's gotta be 10 recordings. Let's uh, let's go turn in that uh, the Thorazine to Harold, or Harland, I wasn't paying attention. Good, finally. I'll just make sure he gets this. You just prevented a major catastrophe, mate. Hell yeah, I'm that dude. Exotic double blade. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do with that? I'm gonna fucking sell that shit. Garbage. Alright, let's go. Time to slaughter. Titus ain't going down soon if he's about to have all the guns and all the food in the fucking place. Anything under here? Come on, man. Did 
That thing's alive. Oh, wow. There's so many personal IDs. It's the only proof these people ever existed. You know, this ain't so bad so far. If they have loot on them, they're obviously already dead. Poison, even like a debuff option. Like, who's gonna poison a zombie? You guys were like a matching pair. One of you was missing the left arm, and one of you was missing the right. An axe. Delicious. Hey, suicider. I just love seeing the mist. Personal ID? Yeah. Oh, I cut off his legs so fast he didn't even get to move. It was just still sitting there waiting. Waiting to be utilized. Yeah, I saw that coming. See, this thing has some reach, which is real nice. God damn it. Honestly, with how much I miss, I should just try on the first pass instead of waiting. Oh, shit! Sir, you're hiding behind a railing. Not Siri. I thought you were already dead, so I stopped shooting. Yeah, medium med kit is like very. Oh, hey, buddy. You want to stand still? That was beautiful. I love you. I do hear zombies. The Banisher. Yeah, I'll take whatever the hell that thing is. I think that was sick as fuck. Huh? You say something? Huh. Is this a human? Oh, you're a, not a human at all. Sorry, that's like the perfect molly spot, dude. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to check out the banisher. Let me get rid of this pistol. Um, God, I don't know, I'll put it there. One more. Alright. Now we can use my katana. Why would there be katanas in Australia? Like, why, why are these Japanese weapons so popular? That I have four. Oh, this thing's a one-shotter. Very nice. Very... Oh, wait table? Oh, it's on the other side. I was gonna say, I could just upgrade the banisher now. Hey, I got my Molotov back. 
I know I use two, but you know, I only really need to use one. <gasps> Suicider meat. Is it because we burned him to death, or was that the one from upstairs? Yeah, I'm not buying it. Actually, I'll take it just to sell it. I need the money to upgrade my really good weapons. I feel like there haven't been that many zombies so far. I fight with honor. Now that I have a katana. Now I got my Molotovs back. Door? Nope, personal ID. They really want me to use a fire axe, but the swing time to damage is not worth it. It's probably just food in that case. I see you! That did so. Girl, you killed him. He's dead. Alright. Damn, they're giving, they're giving you a lot of... Hell yeah. What can I create? Detox, pride gun, short circuits. Can I put this? Yeah, baby. <laughs> all right, all right. Huh? Oh, there's a couch. Okay, okay. Oh, this is where all the zombies are. You see that? I didn't flinch. I fight with honor. Okay, now I'm tired of fighting with honor because he landed a hit. Honor is lame and gay. Huh. Can't go this way. God damn it. He was swinging. He pre-swung. You gonna swing? Sorry, I hear the aggroed runners. I just don't know where they are. That's what's making me paranoid. Okay, good. I'm just praying for him to get electrocuted. Sorry, sorry I'm not talking so much. I'm really trying to focus on where they are. Because, like, I'm just hearing so many noises, but... Obviously, only some of them can reach me at a time. Oh. A little snack. Granola bar in the cell. Knife. 
See, sometimes the noises do matter. I think this ram is just directly above me. The break dancing is very helpful. A little snack. I just gotta check all the cells. And that is exactly why. Wait, was there food in this one? No, I thought that I thought the edge of the bed was a uh, soda can. Okay. Oh my god, dude. The triple attack is so annoying. Cuz you'll literally like you'll be fighting something else and all of a sudden you just get absolutely shredded by some fuck that you didn't even know existed because they have the aggro range of this side of the world hey alright alright let's go hey look it's the ram Okay, yeah. For the big guys, we literally just need them to get shocked. Like, that is our move. Is this a personal ID? No, it's a snack. Okay. Kick him. Kick the shit out of him. Oh, we are supposed to go down? Okay. I wasn't even... I mean... I've forgotten the objective. It kind of just... I'm kind of just clearing out the cell block. Let's use old Smokey. Give me the energy drink. Okay. Hey, look, we made it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave Jin, Yurima, and Moen. That's kind of shitty. Whatever. Let's uh, let's fix what we have. Yeah, dude, that's fucked. Jin and Yurima are probably the only women in the building besides me and Perna. And we're, you know, with the group. Like, dude. That's fucked. Like, yeah, you don't want to give terrorist weapons, but they're stuck on an island surrounded by a minefield. What are they gonna do? I love that it kicked the corpse twice instead of kicking my target. Wait. What are we at? 95%. Yeah, this is probably like the last mission or second to last.
Homeboy's standing. I, I don't know why there's a upgrade. There's an upgrade that you can do, um, like, like, uh, you do increased damage while attacking in the air, and that seems like such a stupid thing to me. Okay, good. I was like, is this a snack or an ID? You know they're die if it cut. You know they're die. You know they die if it cuts off the legs. Yeah, if I would have seen that sooner, I could have avoided taking damage. You're still alive. Not anymore, but. You know. I guess, yeah. I would like to keep this. Because if we're going to finish, I'd like to keep it close to the one hour. But, you know, I guess we'll see. 40. Yeah. Oh my god. Find your way to the elevator. Okay. Will do. You're alive. Oh wow, really? Man, a lot of a lot of people wearing clothes for a shower. You think <laughs> you think if you were in prison you were like I I don't I don't wanna Oh, did you guys escape? How the fuck did you guys get here? All was quiet. And then everything went crazy. A mob of prisoners attacked Titus and his men, and then the undead came, attracted by the screams. Moen spirited us away and traded his boat to Alvaro, so that he would tell us how to find you. He was helping us into a ventilation shaft when the dead got their hands on him. Moen. No. He sacrificed himself so that we could get away. There were too many. There was nothing we could do. They tore into him like hungry animals, and all we could do was watch. Why would you watch? If not for Moen, we would not be here. So who is Alvaro? The only the only name I know is uh, Titus. You think we're gonna find more rifle ammo? Cause I foolishly didn't reload my gun when there was that pile of rifle ammo. The elevator's here. Yeah, this is full of dude. Are you like gas? I feel like this is a plot twist. He's gonna knock us out with the gas. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. <gasps> Kevin. Oh, thank God, he's on our side. Say no time to be taking a damn nap. What happened? The fucking gas is. I heard you talking to White. I'm the one who helped you open the locks. We gotta get the hell out of here, like now. And how do we do that? Since Colonel, trust me, just fucked us. You had something he wanted. He came in here and took it right off you, like he knew just where to find it. The vaccine. Ah, what the hell? I feel like Jin would be carrying it. Maybe I'm crazy. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. And if that asshole reaches it before we do, he's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. The whole goddamn island. Which island? Gotta catch him while we still have a chance. What chance is that? White's headed to the hospital. He's picking up his wife to take her to the chopper. Being she's out of her goddamn mind, that'll take some time. He's going through the left wing. Not so many infected, but that's the long way. So what's the short way? Take the elevator to the top, which takes you straight to the other wing of the hospital. It's riskier, but we can reach the roof faster. Only the badasses should take the elevator. Me and the rest will take the safer way and meet you at the top. Only the badasses. Thank you. Shake a leg for fuck's sake. I mean, we've got no reason not to trust. Kevin's the goat. I didn't mean to take that wrench. 
Alright, yeah, let's go. We gotta hurry the fuck up, I guess. Sprint time. Uh, go right. Okay. Dude, yeah, Ryder. The way they were filming Ryder was so sketch, but. You know, I guess that one guy who kept saying that he had a. Maybe there's something useful. That, uh, what's his face had his time come in was right. Really? This counts. This isn't a small rifle. That sucks. Alright. One last snack for the road. Is that a suicider? found one of every boss besides a floater and a... Are you fucking kidding me? He got us mid-dodge and while we were taking the health. <sighs> Dude, I hate... I hate the rams. What the fuck is he? He's still on the left? Whatever. What weapon should we save for Ryder? I guess our best weapon is uh, Zed's Demise. I feel like that's a reference, I'm just not kidding. I need Big Boy to charge. I don't even know why I'm looting. There's no point in looting. Okay, I'll officially stop looting. It's only about getting to the roof, because I'm guessing this is going to be our final fight with Ryder. I'll take this food, though. Hmm. Another energy drink? Yeah, perfect. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, dude. See, Ram's the annoying one to deal with, because you can't just throw shit at him. Get fucked, dumbass. It sound was that a butcher? Where did you come from, bro? Cool, let's go. Oh. Is there still no rifle ammo? Dude. If you're gonna give me all the other ammos, give me big rifle ammo. Yeah, our gun still only has 20 shots. That sucks. I mean, whatever. We're probably not gonna end up using it. It depends what kind of boss rider is gonna be. Let's uh, repair the old Tijuana. This thing's fucking them up. You know, I guess we can give the Banisher some love because we haven't used it. I don't think that suicide exploded. Just shut the door on him.
Even the end game, I still fucking hate these guys. Dude, you got no arms. We just, uh, fucking picked up that police baton. More of you guys, huh? I'm still looting money. Shut the door. So Sprinty can't get through. There's, okay, yeah, whatever. At least there's not pistol ammo. It, it's pistol, shotgun, and small rifle. Like, come on. Give me regular rifle ammo. Alright. I didn't even read what the door said. Where are we going? Is this the hospital or the roof? It's the roof. Okay, good. We're gonna steal his helicopter. There's so much pistol ammo here, I feel like I should have a pistol. I have a better pistol than that. I have my heavy pistol. Music. Oh shit! Where are the rest of these guys going along with this? You realize you're being left behind too, right? Oh, is that Ryder? Okay, I'm gonna... Wait, what? Why are we arming explosives? Okay, whatever. I think these guys have rifle ammo. Come on. Come on, peek, motherfucker. That's really awkward. I got. I gotta see if they have the ammo for my other gun, cause I would much rather use this thing. Oh my God, they do! Thank God. Yeah, you can't even hit Ryder yet. Is there another wave? Oh, there's a path now? 
Oh my god. Okay, that right there. That right there is what I'm talking about. With how the triple swing on the sprinters is so dumb. Because when you can be two or three shot and you have an enemy that can do three attacks in like one second, like... The only reason we survived that is because of, um, there was a gold weapon. There was a gold weapon there. Dude, your wife's a zombie. He just stood there like he wasn't gonna do anything about that. No! <laughs> uh, she had a full arc. Kinda. I don't think that vaccine... His clothes just complete. Oh, okay. He... His shirt blew off like the Hulk. Now he's wearing the wife beater. <laughs> Gotta keep him stunlocked. <laughs> Of course, we run out of stamina. We got, we got the insta kill. We got the where is it? We got, we got this the 4.5% insta kill chance. <laughs> Let me upgrade my storage. Let me get on the helicopter. Let's go. That's. That's so awesome. I do like that games will give you that. Can any of you guys fly a helicopter? I like how you guys suddenly have guns now, but when he had the pistol aimed at us, we were like, oh, oh. Hey, Yurima, your only friend Jin just died, and we're about to nuke your natives. Kevin can fly the helicopter. Come on. According to officials, Benoy is still under quarantine. The sought after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically originally a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. I think that's Kevin. Many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There's no basis for these ridiculous rumours. The entire island is under military quarantine, and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen, an 
every other terrorist in prison there isn't going anywhere. She's still got the full Even face of makeup. It is on its way, and you can be sure that the virus, or whatever it is, will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoit. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, oh, the goddamn plan had all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be, it's not. So I feel like Kevin is Karen, Sharon, the hacker for hire. The only real evidence for that is him hacking the door. Ammunition is priceless. Ammunition is garbage in this game. <laughs> Guns are so bad. This better be who do you voodoo. Yes. yes. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, is, is this song on Spotify? I need who do you voodoo. It is. It is on a Spotify. I'm mad that shit. I love this. Dude. We're just gonna listen to the whole song. I love this song. I'll give like some thoughts once it ends. I'm just looking at all these names, these are all so unique, and then like half the names end with Ski. Dude. Now we gotta hear Perna's song, and Logan, and uh, Zian, John. They never said her name in the game, I swear to god. I don't know how to pronounce it. Lucas with an S and a Z. Dude, okay. So, the game was fun. I'll say, like, it, like I think the movement is pretty wonky. I think the jumping isn't great. But there is only really one section that had like platforming and it was that side quest the uh, heads of Cerberus but dude the jumping was so bad for that like I love I love the stomping I love um I like the game obviously but dude the the controls are just like pretty bad let me see uh hey Siri when did Dead Island come out That is, when did Dead Island come out? 2011, okay, like 2011, come on, we, your movement should not be so slidey, like, ugh, I, I did like the game, but like some things, like, the way the zombies can run through each other so that you can get hit by multiple at a time because they're all stacked up kind of sucks. 
I didn't really care for the bash animation, considering when you're trying to quickly throw something, that can happen and you're just screwed. Um, the kicking honestly wasn't that useful, because half the time when you kick them, they recover faster than your stun. Or if you kick them to stagger them, then they, uh, they can just... Like, if you kick them to stagger them and they're staggered, they're doing, like, the long stagger. But then when you hit them with a weapon, that starts a new stagger, which is much shorter than the kick stagger. So they just... It just nullifies the point of even kicking them. Like, I guess you can get that first hit off, but they... Once you hit them with the weapon, they do their swing back. So... Nordic, dude. <sighs> like... I did like the game, it's just, it, it definitely had its problems, like the, the driving, like the POV and driving is ridiculous, the guns are super clunky to aim, and honestly just bad, I, like I said, I don't know who would play as Perna, Perna must be like the most useless character, unless like you can upgrade it so it's like, your reticle doesn't sway, you're more accurate, it does like, 10 times as much damage because like my rifle said it should do 1300 damage but then you'll shoot a zombie or even a person and it'll be like 200 like what is the number what what is the number if it's not actually like the damage number like what, what's going on here guys so yeah the driving was whatever shooting sucks the only time you use shooting is when they have guns because there's really no other way around it because the throwing has no range. Maybe if you play as Logan, the throwing character, you get, like, way better throwing range. But, like, the other characters, you can throw maybe, like, five feet unless you're auto-targeted. Um, I did like the characters. I like the group. The, uh, the story is, <clears throat> the story is alright, you know, you're, you're on a vacation, Zombies break out you find out that you're immune and there's a couple other immune people and you You start helping out the people at the lifeguard tower and then you meet the people in um What is it? The people in the lighthouse and both these groups are trying to Talk to this person on the radio who says he has a plan and a way out but to do to get out you need to go get him and so you start collecting resources to help you, A, build, like, a better radio to reach out to him. And then, B, you collect resources to help the survivors. You go to the city to look for help. Honestly, everyone in the city is kind of fucked. <laughs> like, the, those two dudes in a shack at, the like, the north end. Uh, those guys are just screwed. <laughs> Um, and then you go from the city, you need to find the guy who can get you to the prison island, which is Moen, but to get to Moen, you have to help Matsu, the Matura, whatever, the other guy, to do that, you need to get the boat, and then you take the boat deeper into the jungle, you work on the vaccine to help the radio guy's wife, so that once you get there, you can help his wife, and then... You get there, you start helping the prisoners, and then all of a sudden, there's a prison riot, and you find out radio guy is the bad guy, and then you kill him. I, it's kind of funny, and kind of, like, how we have the insta-kill ability. Like, I do like the games give that, and they give you the option for it to work on the boss, but then sometimes, you know, it feels like a little anticlimactic, but it's like, you know, like that, you took the perk, it's a chance. You got like a 1 in 20 every swing that you're going to insta-kill. And I guess, you know... Like, I guess if it didn't happen, I wouldn't have even noticed, but... He was at like half health, and we hit him, and it killed him. Ugh. Our, our good weapons were definitely great. I feel like I should have started using my good weapons... Like, maybe like two episodes ago. But, you know, they were, they were great to use on... Um, the beefed out machete, the Zeds, and I don't even remember what the katana was called, and then the the banisher. 
<laughs> Those were all great to finally use at the end. Dude, one thing I'll never get about um credits is like the order it gets put in. Because sometimes you feel like you're almost at the end, but then all of a sudden like it just keeps going with a new section that you were like, what? Huh? Like when it started doing like each country, I figured that was like towards the end, but whatever. I like to let the credits roll, you know. You gotta give everyone credit for what they did for the game. Whether you like if you enjoy it, I feel like, you know, it's it's just like a respect. Dude, look at that guy's name. Bartolomej B.C. Kirtsky. He's actually kind of got a fun name. B.C. Kirtsky. Binkowski. Alright, that's a fun one. Zwed. Audio. Big ass space. But no, whatever. I, I like the variety in weapons. I like... I feel like there's decent variety in the zombies. You know, we've got the walkers you got the infected which are the the sprinters <sighs> sorry it's late but yeah you got the walkers you got the sprinters and then you got the boss zombies you have the thugs the god what are they called the rams the floaters the suiciders and the butchers the guy <laughs> The butchers are super cool, like zombies that are missing like their hand and most of their forearm, so it's just the bone and they use that as like a weapon and they do have a really funky like um, attack pattern, like that one guy we fought like two episodes ago, he was literally like bobbing and weaving our attacks and I was like holy fuck. If I could change a couple things about the game. I wish your screen didn't move so much with the weapon swings. Like you'll you'll swing and your character will be like, oh. and it's it's honestly a little disorienting when you're like in the like I get some movement is good but like the uh, it was it was a little too much honestly. And then the cars, dude, you need to fix the uh, PO the POV or the FOV maybe both of the cars because. <laughs> It is ridiculous how, like, uh, in the city is the best example. Like, that car is completely useless. The The visor is down and you can't see shit. Um, yeah, I would fix the guns, fix the swaying on weapons, and fix the car POV. <laughs> Jin's death was honestly kind of ridiculous because, um... She, she just, like, obviously got him infected on purpose and then just stood there. She was like, yeah, yeah, you see my point now? He's like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> bang, 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 and Jin's like, ah. <laughs> I wonder if, I was talking to a, a scrimmy about this in the most recent, um, Halo episode, the, uh, Two Betrayals, but, um, I wonder if the characters from this game are in 2 at all, or if they're mentioned at all. Because obviously 2 went through a lot. Like, I believe the company that started its production, I think it's Deep Silver, like, went bankrupt or went under, and they had to sell off the development of um, Dead Island 2 to another studio. So there's, like, a whole... Like, I remember the trailer came out, and then I I don't even remember when the game dropped. I guess I could ask real quick. When did Dead Island 2 come out? No, 2. Alright, but yeah, I don't even remember, like, hearing much about Dead Island 2 after the uh, video, after the trailer dropped. You know, the one with the jogger running down the road, and he slowly becomes a zombie. Dead Island 2... Oh, it came out in uh, 2023. It came out this year. Dead Island 2. Yeah, it came out in April. Dude, yeah, okay. Maybe maybe that's why I didn't hear much about it. Because it was a recent release. But I'll have to... I mean, I'll get to it eventually. I've got a bunch of game licensed music. Performed by Joseph J7 Lord. Dude. Okay. But yeah. You know, obviously, I'll get... 
A heartfelt thanks to our spouses, families, and friends for understanding and support. We couldn't have done this without you. You rock. Deep silver. Yeah, dude, this is what I'm talking about. It just keeps going. Like, it feels like that message should have been the end of it. There's a whole nother section, but... I think the next game I'm gonna do is gonna be, um, uh... I think I'm gonna do Assassin's Creed 1 next. Assassin's Creed 1 is definitely a shorter game because... If you've never played it, there's not really side quests. Pretty much you're Altair and you're you're like the best assassin. And you're talking to um the headmaster, I don't remember what his name is, the headmaster of the assassins, and basically he'll send you out to do uh an assassination, and when you get to the area, there's two optional quests, I believe for all of them. Like it's one to three optional quests that you can do to get more information for like things that'll make the assassination easier and then so I believe those are the only real side quests and the there's no customization basically you do a mission you go back to the master and then he gives you an upgrade and you don't get to choose the upgrade it's a specific it's a set upgrade I feel like one is a lot more about the story than about like the game, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do Assassin's Creed one next. I'll have to, I'll have to see if I have it because I know I had it for like 360 like back in the day, but it's been a while. I'll have to see if I still have it. But I think that'll be our next series. After that, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go back and do another sequel. I could always do a short one like Doom two. <laughs> Oh my god, Doom 1. Doom 1, what a game. Linguistics testers. Globalock GmbH. Is that it? Is this the end of the credits? Alright. What a... This contain it'll reset your game process and you'll be able to play from the beginning. Are you sure you want? Wait. This save contains an already finished campaign. The game will reset your game progress and you'll be able to play this campaign from the beginning again. But your player development and inventory will be kept. Alright, okay, one sec. I do wanna. Is it gonna tell me their name? My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Even though he died when I was ten, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the World Xing Wu Triad, and I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. They were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy on wealthy Westerners. Father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. Okay, I I just want to see her. Uh... I'm a patriot, but I know I am capable of oh, much, fuck. much more. I just want to see her upgrade. Opportunity to prove myself. I hate you, assholes. Which can I? Yeah. What is her upgrade tree? Okay. Wait, sharp weapons, melee weapons. Decrease stamina across them fighting groups of enemies. Increases damage against the opposite sex. That one's kind of weird. Kills with kicks gains. That one sucks. Melee damage. You need guns. Lots of guns. What's important? You have the skills to handle them. Crit chance, accuracy, recoil. If you run out of bullets, you can always just stomp. A kill increases your crit chance. 
Increase the duration of elemental attack. Crit shits of fire. Bullet penetration. Reload time. Dude, this sucks. I'm guessing these are mostly the same, just like mixed around. Oh, increase the XP for kills and assists. That would be really nice. Uh, you cannot be interrupted after being hit while attacking. You get more bullets when creating ammo. Chance of being instantly revived after death. Okay. See, she definitely needed that. Maybe way earlier than second to last. Is she even that good for her? Okay, and then I wanna... I wanna see Logan's upgrade tree too. Also, who the hell is this guy? Is this just... I assume... I don't know what sport he played, I didn't read that. We, we can check that before we go. Oh, I used to be on top Nobody cares. Of brother. All pro Blunt weapons. One-handed weapons, kick, crit chance, increases range of throwing. Okay, that's good. Decreased stamina cost of one-handed what Dude, 45%. Kills increased damage for 5 seconds. Sharp weapons. Wait, so he gets sharp and blunt? Okay. Firearms, throwing, throwing by 30, increased crit chance, increased crit chance, insta kill chance for thrown weapons. It's weird that his is works for only equal and lower level enemies. And then he gets guns? That, that's so weird that he gets all three. Increases damage while being drunk. Decreases upgrade costs, inventory slots, chance of finding a weapon in great condition. Oh, he just gets a flat increased stamina. That's interesting. I've never not retrieved a thrown weapon, so I don't know what the hell that's for. Fire resistance, modified weapons. That, what the? Chance to knock out enemies when receiving damage. Chance to find an upgraded weapon. That's good. Wait, enables health regeneration while being drunk. You can now hit four weapons with one throw. Dude, okay. Throwing range is 15 meters. Dude, okay, yeah, what the... I feel like he would be fun to play as, because he's kind of like an all-around character. But Perna, Perna still seems awful, but... Whatever that is... <sighs> That is the end of <laughs> Dead Island 1. Like I said, next series I'm going to start will probably be Assassin's Creed. You know, maybe I'll change my mind before we get there, but whatever, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a good one, and I hope I will see you in the next series. <laughs> see you guys.